How's it going, people? Well, let's do some more of this. And I'll do some more of this. Of the DNC revelation given through Joseph Smith, the prophet, at Kirtland, Ohio, May 1831. The prophet states that some of the elders present did not understand the manifestations of different spirits abroad in the earth. Well, that, I concur. I don't understand either. <sighs> and that this revelation was given in response to his special inquiry on the matter about spirits. Huh? So-called spiritual phenomena were not uncommon among the members, some of whom claim to be receiving visions and revelations. Now we know that's not that's not allowed. It's all about Joseph Smith. You're you're taking the spotlight off of him when you do that. So nobody else, while he's a, while he was alive, gets to do any prophesying or have it count. See history of the church, volume one, page one seventy. False spirits. I'm not sure I believe in spirits at all, except uh, these kind. But if there were spirits, real spirits, how could there be a false spirit? It would have to be something else masquerading as a spirit. Uh, I don't know. It... <sighs> yeah. False spirits, fake ones, deceiving the world, means by which they may be detected. Did you tell Taps about this? Ghost hunters? Ah. Between their manifestations and those of the Spirit of the Lord. There is a difference as between light and darkness. Sounds like the Force. <laughs> Special service required of certain elders. Greater knowledge promised as the people shall grow in grace and truth. The Lord is the Good Shepherd and the Stone of Israel. Okay. One. Hearken, O ye elders of my church and give ear to the voice of the living God, and attend to the words of wisdom, which shall be given unto you, according as ye have asked, and are agreed as touching the church, and the spirits which have gone abroad in the earth. Two, behold, verily, I say unto you that there are many spirits which spirits which are false spirits, 
which have gone forth in the earth deceiving the world. So they're deceiving spirits like Jehovah sicked on Saul. And also, Satan hath sought to deceive you, that he might overthrow you. For, behold, I, the Lord, have looked upon you, and have seen abominations. a church that profess my name. Really, that can happen. Five. But blessed are they who are faithful and endure, whether in life or in death. Just tough it out, even if you're dead. For they shall inherit eternal life. Six. Damn hay fever. Uh, but woe unto them that are deceivers and hypocrites. For thus saith the Lord, I will bring them to judgment. Damn. Seven. Behold, verily, I say unto you, there are hypocrites among you. Who have deceived some? Which has given the adversary power? But behold, such shall be reclaimed. Eight. But the hypocrite shall be detected. And shall be cut off, either in life or in death, even as I will. And woe unto them who are cut off from my church, for the same are overcome of the world. Can't win for losing. Nine. Wherefore, let every man beware, lest he do that which is not in truth, and righteousness before me. And now, and now came, saith the Lord, by the Spirit, unto the elders of this of his church, and let us reason together, <coughs> that ye may understand. Eleven. Let us reason, even as a man reasoneth one with another face to face. Twelve. Now, when a man reasoneth, he is understood of man because he reasoneth as a man. Even so will I, the Lord, reason with you that you may understand. And God seems to think just like a human being, one with some real issues. Thirteen. Wherefore? I, the Lord, ask you this question. Unto what are ye ordained? I don't think that question applied to me because I can't think of an answer. I don't think I've ever been ordained. Although I had an atheist buddy once who got became a reverend. That was his nickname, the Reverend. God, that was, guy was hilarious. Uh, okay. Yeah, he was ordained. I wasn't. But it was his was mail order, I think. Uh, Fourteen. To preach my gospel by the Spirit. Even the comforter, comforter, which was sent forth to teach the truth. You know, it's true when you feel that burning in your bosom. And I don't mean heartburn. All right. 
15. And then received ye spirits, which ye could not understand, and received them to be of God. And in this are ye justified? 16. Behold, ye shall answer this question yourselves. Okay, is that the answer? I think it is. <sighs> Nevertheless, he that is weak among you hereafter shall be made strong, we promise. 17. Verily, I say unto you, he that is ordained of me and sent forth to preach the word of truth by the Comforter in the spirit of truth doth he preach it by the spirit of truth or some other way that was a question okay 18 and if it be by some other way, is it is not of God. That's it. Nineteen. And again, he that receiveth the word of truth, doth he receive it by the spirit of truth or some other way? Twenty. If it be some other way, it is not of God. Twenty-one. Therefore, why is it that ye cannot understand and know that he that receiveth the word by the Spirit of truth receiveth it as is preached by the Spirit of truth? I need to get some more beer, I think. Ah, to finish this video. <laughs> 22. Wherefore, he that preacheth and he that receiveth understand one another. And both are edified and rejoice together. 23. And that which doth not edify is not of God. I think Buddha's kind of edifying. Is that is he of God? He didn't say he was. Yeah, but he came to save the world, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. And that which doth not edify is not of God and is darkness. 24. That which is of God is light. And he that receiveth light and continueth in God receiveth more light. And that light groweth brighter and brighter until the perfect day. Ain't that sweet? 25. And again, verily, I say it to you, and I say it to you that you that you may know the truth, that you may chase darkness from among you. Twenty-six. He that ordain, is ordained of God and sent forth, the same is appointed to be the greatest, notwithstanding. He, he is the least, and the servant of all. 27. Wherefore, he is possessor of all things, for all things are subject unto him, both in heaven and on earth, the life and the light, the spirit and the power. 
sent forth by the will of the Father through Jesus Christ, his Son. 28. But no man is possessor of all things except he be purified and cleansed from all sin. 29. And if he and if ye are purified and cleansed from all sin, ye shall ask whatsoever ye will in the name of Jesus, and it shall be done. Yeah, 30. But know this, it shall be given you what you shall ask, and as ye are appointed to the head, the Spirit shall be sub subject unto you. <coughs> there it is. Kind of weak. <sighs> 31. Wherefore, it shall come to pass. I didn't see that one coming. Special occasion. Behold a spirit manifested. <laughs> Could it be okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> spirit manifested. That you cannot understand. <laughs> and you receive not that spirit. It might have been junk, you know, uh, it might have been like, a, you know, an internet virus or something, you know. But, you know, spiritual like. All right. God damn it. Where was I? <laughs> Uh, God damn. Yeah. A spirit manifested to you that you cannot understand. <laughs> and you receive not that spirit. Ye shall ask of the Father in the name of Jesus. And if he shall give not unto you that spirit, then you may know that it is not of God. Ah, this is so edifying. 32. And it shall be given unto you power over that spirit. This sounds like necromancy. <laughs> it, it kind of is. Resurrection. You know, and the early Christians in Rome hung out in the catacombs where they buried people. Necromancy. That's what it is. Thank you, Joseph Smith, for pointing that out. All right. It shall be given unto you power, power over that spirit, and you shall pro proclaim against that spirit with a loud voice that it is not of God. It's one of those devil spirits. You don't want that. It'll fuck up your hard drive. <laughs> All right. 33. Not with railing accusation that ye be not overcome. Yeah, none of that passion, man. We hate that. Neither with boasting nor rejoicing lest you be seized therewith. 
by something. Something's gonna grab you. Probably something bad. Something. One of those bad fake ghosts. Yeah. 34. He that receiveth of God, let him account it of God, and let him rejoice that he is accounted of God, worthy to receive. Because God gets the credit, never the blame. <laughs> yeah. 35. And by giving heed, heed, just clarifying, uh, <laughs> and doing these things which ye have received, huh. would have sounded better the other way, uh, and which ye shall hereafter receive, and the kingdom is given you of the Father, the Sky Daddy, <laughs> and power to overcome all things which are not ordained in Him. Yeah, the suspension of disbelief, denial, delusion. This is great powers there. <laughs> all right. 36. And behold, verily, I say unto you, blessed are you, who are now hearing these words. So that's all of you, whoever you are. Blessed are you, according to this book. Aren't you glad you watched this video this far? You just got blessed. <sighs> yeah. Are now hearing these words of mine from the mouth of my servant. I guess that's me. Damn. Well, I am reading their book. That kind of makes me... Sort of. I mean, I'm making it happen, right? For your sins are forgiven you. So whatever you did, you're off the hook. What the hell? Thirty-seven. Let my servant Joseph Wakefield, in whom I am well pleased, and my servant Parley P. Pratt, a relative of Mitt Romney, and a home wrecker who got murdered by a jealous husband, uh, martyred by a jealous husband, whose wife he stole to add to his harem, and children he snatched away from this person, which, I mean, maybe he was a prick, I don't know. I mean, he did kill Triple P. <laughs> Stabbed him and shot him and all that. Yeah. Party P. Pratt, that's where I was. Go forth among the churches and strengthen them by the word of exhortation. 38. And also my servant John Carell, or as many of my servants as are or as are ordained unto this office, but you know, I mean they could be getting ordained while he's writing this. So them too. No honorable mention, I guess. Um, and let them labor in the vineyard. And let no man hinder them, doing that which I have appointed unto them. 39. Wherefore, in this thing my servant Edward Partridge is not justified. Nevertheless, let him repent, and he shall be forgiven. <coughs> Wow, that wasn't that one wasn't quite ready, but oh well. Uh, where the fuck was it? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, my servant Edward Partridge is not justified. Nevertheless, let him repent, and he shall be forgiven. Forty. Behold, ye are little children. 
and ye cannot bear all things now. Ye must grow in grace and in the knowledge of the truth. 41. Fear not, little children, for you are mine. I own your ass. Not me, but I'm speaking in the spirit. I really am. Sort of. Um, and I have overcome the world. And you are of them that my Father hath given me. Wow. That's so pathetic. <laughs> Sorry, but it's true. That slave think. 43. And none of them that my Father hath given me shall be lost. 43. And the Father and I are one. I am in the Father, and the Father in me, and inasmuch as ye have received me, ye are in me, and I am, and I in you. Forty-four. Wherefore, I am in your midst, and I am the Good Shepherd. And the stone of Israel, he that buildeth on this rock shall never fall. But maybe they got a head full of rocks. Um, or they're just stoned. Um, 45. And the day cometh that you shall hear my voice and see me and know that I am. Yeah. I'll believe it when I see it. 46. Watch, therefore, that ye may be ready, even so, amen, and that's 50. So, you're bound to have learned something, right? Because you are paying attention, to, right? Because I, I don't know, I forgot most of this already. Didn't seem worth remembering. Let me know if you learned something. Peace the fuck out. And have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. I really want that. I really do.